In addition to bushfires that may impact sites, there are some sites that may be a potential source of fire risk. For example, fires in waste stockpiles. It doesn't have to be midsummer and 40 degrees for this to be an issue. We've had issues with fires in stockpiles in the cooler months of the year, including July and August. So there is an ongoing risk of fires in stockpiles that operators need to address. Our Prevention of Fires and Stockpiles guideline, which is available online, provides information to support operators to meet their general environmental duty by reducing stockpile fire risk. The guideline outlines a range of measures to prevent fires, including meeting stockpile dimensions and separation distances. Other mitigation measures include ensuring there is sufficient access to all sides of the stockpiles for firefighting equipment and sufficient hard stand to enable large vehicles to access the site in the event of a fire. Not implementing these measures could be the difference between a very small fire that's of no consequence to something that gets completely out of hand, thereby increasing the risk of harm to the environment or community. A small fire can spread beyond the site and cause a significant fire incident. So from a community perspective, you may need to alert your neighbours to advise them to close their windows as an example. Depending on the nature of the contaminants in the fire, you may also have to warn the community about potential health issues. Your environmental authority may also include notification requirements if there were releases of fire-impacted water from the site. Impacts to local creeks and waterways from fire-impacted water involves costly remediation processes. The costs incurred by relevant state entities in responding to a fire event can be recovered from the operator under various legislative provisions. Therefore, prevention is much better than managing a fire event and response. Industrial fires can also last for a prolonged period depending on how much fuel is on site. This can have a significant impact on business recovery and reduces the emergency responders' ability to service the community in general.